Greetings and welcome back to my generational Nuzlocke challenge. So we've got our team. Everybody's level nine except for Gotopi. So let's go ahead and see about some trainer battles. Yep. Yep. Had a feeling this one was a trainer. Alright. Only level 5? Alright, this is going to be easy. I'm not worried about that. Come on, go to pee. I know you can do this. Come on. There we go. Alright. I'd say that should take it out, but it has been growling pretty badly. So one or two more of those should uh, finish it off. Yep. Unfortunately, it can't hit for crap, so you ain't got nothing to worry about. Just keep on slamming into it. It'll go down eventually. There we go. Hey, there we go. Alright. Now you have a move other than just tackle. Alright. Time to switch to Cinecell. Because she has a move that'll be useful against Zubat here. Actually, I might be remembering things wrong. This might not be a damage dealing move. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure charge doesn't deal damage. Just boost stats. Yep, okay, well. Oh well. You're already out, so there's no point keeping you out. I don't know why I thought charge was a damage dealing move when I got it while training earlier, but... Oh, well. It's fine. She has good, uh... She has decent attack stats, so attack will do a good deal. He's not growling, so I have to worry about that. And Leech Life isn't doing any damage. Halibu can, uh, attest to that. Yeah, Halibu's gonna be a difficult one to train because of that, but, uh... He did just learn a new, uh, move. One that should help with training, but, you know, we'll see. Come on, one more hit. There you go. Alright, that's the first trainer of the route down. I'll take that, thank you. Uh, yep, alright. Uh, Cricket card, okay. Well... Charge might not be a damage dealing move, but uh, the move Bazog learned during training most certainly should be. Actually, I think he, uh, she learned this move. Yeah, no, he. Okay, yeah. I didn't remember. <laughs> I think Bazog's, uh, Bazog, the move Bazog learned, uh, I think it was the last video. It might have been that or during training. I don't remember exactly, but... Yeah, okay, but, um, this should one-shot you, so I'm not worried about Bide. Oh, oh, it'll, it'll two-shot you then, which is fine, as long as it doesn't take more than two hits, and I don't need to worry about Bide in the slightest. 
Goodbye. Okay, let's see here. Oh. Alright. Third verse, same as, the, same as the first, I guess. Oh, you got three Pokemon on you, okay. I see you. Shame it's not be borrowed, then this, then absorb might be super effective, but oh well. It is the same type of tag bonus, so I'm gonna use it. Yeah, that that did decent damage, given that they have a five level difference between them. <laughs> All right. Good to go. Is what I would say if we have two more Pokemon to fight after this. So, you know. Almost there, but not quite. But, ooh, yeah, I'm definitely switching out to, uh... Bazog. Alright, get that get the wing attacks going. Oh, five level difference? This is one shot. Yep. Had a feeling it would. Alright, so Bazog's the first one to hit level ten. Uh I will switch, but not to Cell because uh uh, no. Actually, you know what? I won't. I won't switch. I'll keep the. I'll keep base off of this fight because I guarantee you, her Charlie doesn't have wing attack. Might not even have quick attack at that level. Bye. Could say the same thing about. Well, could say, yeah, yeah. Could say the same thing about you. <laughs> Ugh, alright. Yeah, okay, I don't think he's a trainer. No, yeah, you are. Okay. Only one. Oof. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep the Godopi in. I should switch to Bazog because wing attacks are perfective, but Bazog's already at level 10, and I, you know, try to keep my team low. Evenly leveled, so just gonna let Godopi uh, handle things here. Actually, I might want to switch to Tackle. Absorbs uh, doing okay damage, but I feel like Tackle might do more damage, if, if, even if only just a little bit. It's not going to do a lot of damage because Godopi's light. Oh, that did decent. That might be more stats than anything, though. But I could be wrong. And yeah, Tackle does do slightly more damage, but Absorb should finish it at the health it has, so... Uh... There we go. Weird, fle weird flex with that last bit second out speed, but okay. And now Gotopi meets Balrog at, at, at a, or Basehog rather at level 10. Let's switch Seneso out in case there are any more trainers. 
direction. Yeah, it's kind of looking like it. What you got for me? Sure enough. Alright. I'm just gonna have to tackle this one out. Four level difference, so it should be fine. Woo! Yeah, that's good damage. Alright. Even with this crow, we should uh, two shot here. With this three, the second shot. Ah, yeah, I mean. uh, no, alright. It's gonna take one more, that's fine. Attack. Yeah, that makes sense. There you go. And the doof. Uh, Sinna Sills kind of hurting a little bit. Uh, but Calibu Ka doesn't really have any. Uh... Actually, you know what? Yeah, Calibu. Because uh, while Calibu may not have any. Uh, Decent, uh, may not have any moves that deal decent damage. There we go. <laughs> he, he does have one weapon in his arsenal I can use. And no, it's not astonished because Badoo's immune to that, unfortunately. Supersonic. Alright, that's okay. We'll just have to try again next round. Yeah, see, it's fine. <laughs> Come on, Calibu. That's not the time to be, uh, now it's not the time to suffer from fright, stage fright. And, uh, okay. Well, I'm really hoping that doesn't happen again. Goodness. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Okay. Let's see here. If his health goes down in the, uh, yellow, then I'm gonna pop a potion on him. Until then, we're just gonna leaf light. Uh, leech life, excuse me. That's not gonna do much damage, but hopefully he hits himself, she hits herself in confusion a lot more often and makes this easy on me. That's what Supersonic's for. Well, that's gonna reduce the damage Leech Light, Leech Light. Leech Life, excuse me, does, but uh, it won't reduce the amount of health Calibu gains from it because it's only gaining one from it right now, so. We're still mostly hoping on uh, Padoof hurting herself in confusion anyway. Which means we gotta go back to using Super Sonic again. Good, good, good. I was worried he was gonna miss with that again. Alright. Yeah. That's what I wanna see. Alright. More Leech Lifes then. Said it right that time. Alright, you're gonna make this up. Oh, no, alright. Well, I think its health might be low enough to not worry about uh, Super Sun anymore. I'm just gonna press the offensive. Uh, the second thought, that's a good two or three more hits. And it's continuing to growl, so. Yeah, let's supersonic. Seems to have gotten over his uh, stage fright. That's good to see. Uh, that's alright. Can't expect them all to be uh, confusion hits. Just keep on spamming that leech life. Oh, come on with that. That was one turn. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Alright, nah. Well, I'm just spamming Leech Life at this point. I'm not even putting up with that. <sighs> I have to give this bit of props. It's, it's been getting out of, of uh, confusion quickly. But, like, well, one turn confusion. Like that, so that's a bit much. I'm not putting up with that. 
so we're just going to spam least life until it goes down because it is almost down there we go there we go okay goodness All right, well, before we continue any further... Get some Pokemon healed. Specifically, Sinisil and Kadopi. There we go. And then I saw an item back this way. There we go. Oh, okay, I can see how that'd be useful. All right, here we go. Alright, I think I'll go ahead and see if anybody can learn that right away, just because it's a fighting type move, so it may come in handy in battle. But Opie seems to be the only one that can learn it, so sure, there you go. I was kind of hoping Seneca still could learn it, because right now he's the only one that only has one attacking move out in the entire party. And speaking of, I believe I can get a catch in this cave. Alright. <clears throat> Fair enough. Two seconds later. Please don't kill. Alright, well, that was a mistake. Right, Rocky Grounds, it was quite weak. I should have known better. Just gonna have to press on through more trainer battles. Alright, well. It's gonna be the Battle of Shinxes. Fortunately, uh, since it was a two level, a three level advantage, right? He just leveled up. Or she did. Terms that I'm bad with that about that when it comes to Pokemon. <laughs> Sheesh. Well, it's not that big of a cave, but whatever, let's go. You know what? Pretty sure bug-type Pokemon are weak to bug- or grass-type Pokemon are weak to bug-type moves, so... Only thing is, the damage might not be enough, and, uh... Yeah, Calibu's a little bit low on the uh, on these, which is why I'm gonna astonish first. Yeah, there we go. All right, leech life. I only got two of these, so I better do a lot of damage. That's not enough. Not going to be enough. Alright, well, I don't really know what else to do, so let's go ahead and lay a couple one, a couple of these down because uh Calibu's being difficult again. Come on. You can do it. Come on, Calibu.
stage fright coming back on him, it seems like. You can do this. Come on now. There we go. All right. <sighs> yep. If you're going to pull this uh, one confusion turn crap again, you might as well go ahead and hit yourself now. Hit up your last, last leech life. Tripping on my own tongue here, yeesh. Yep. Alright, hit yourself again, so, uh, no. Well, I don't think this is gonna work, but, uh... Oh, okay. I must be thinking of another move. I could've sworn you could only use Astonish once per fight. Maybe it's just you can't use it in, uh, succession. I don't know. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, let's switch Pokemon. Bring it Opie up. Alright, you know what to do, go to P. Go get him. There's a level difference. Nope, it doesn't one shot. Well, absorb isn't all that strong of a move, so that makes sense, I guess. Okay, let's get one more of those in. This will lead straight into. Oh, wait, it does lead straight into town. Never mind. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go back and heal because that's the first thing you should do every time you come to a town. Anybody who says otherwise is wrong. Now that that's taken care of, we can give Greeno his court mandated screen time. I'm kidding, but. Yeah, we do have to talk to him, so... Oh, it's you, Tarashi. You finally got here. You're slow like always. You're so slow, the gym leader's long gone, now. He said he had to go to Orabug Mine. I got my badge already, so it's not a big deal to me. Alright, well, uh, I guess we're hunting down the gym leader. Uh, that's cool, but, well, actually... Before we do that, I believe we can get it. We can catch a Pokemon here, and uh, yeah, I think Sinnoh will be good for that because uh, well, she only has Attack to work with, or Tackle rather. go so let's get some tackles in okay that's good you want to damage you want to attack to not do too much damage in a wild Pokemon fight if you're trying to catch them you know all right that is important caveat to make I guess Right, so he should be low enough to catch. Let's throw a ball at him. Alright, let's go. Ah, oh, come on. Eh, oh well. They're not all gonna go down in one throw. That's fine. Alright. Let's switch to Phazog, I think, for defense purposes. Don't want anybody dying trying to catch me up while Pokemon of all things. 
All right. Second burst, same as the first. Let's go. Come on. All right. Ah, uh, third time's the turn, maybe? I don't have a way to put it to sleep, but I don't want to hit it again for fear it'll get knocked out. Because I can't catch it if that happens. I don't have all, all the money in the world to buy these, these things, so this one had better work. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to switch to a regular Pokeball. That's what you deserve at this point. Yes, sir. I'm going to keep pulling this crap. Now, you get a regular Pokeball this time, and you better stay in the first time. There we go. Alright. See, and now I have to take you to a Pokemon Center to be healed up. Alright. You know how this goes. Five letters to his... Nope, no, that's six letters to his name. C-E-N-I-R-E. -E. Alright, Sanir. That's his name. Okay, well, aside from one thing real quick. Right, so, I'm gonna go get Sanir caught up with the rest of the team real quick, because... Having more than one person that has super effective moves against a uh, rock type Pokemon is going to come in handy uh, for both the gym and getting to the gym, so I'll be right back. Later. So here's caught up with the rest of the squad, and he knows Karate Chop, so he's uh, not stuck with a low kick. So that taken care of. Okay, this is technically new counter, so what do we have here? Okay, second chance at you, that's good. So she acts like Samir. Alright, now we're good. Okay, Waza makes our sixth member of this team. But I'm not going to go ahead and train her just yet. I think that can wait until after the gym. Just because she's not going to be all that useful. If anything, she's weak to ground type moves. So the gym we're about to face, it might be best if she stays out of it. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just going to wait until, uh, let's see here. Yeah, okay. Also going to wait on catching Calibu up until after the gym. A few inches later. Great news. Could Opie actually learn Razor Leaf uh, when he she hit level 13? So that's going to be of immense help up against this gym leader. I did still level Sinir up to level 13 though, just in case, because these these two are going to be my two hitters for this gym. I'll catch the rest of the team up afterward, you know, in between the episodes as I usually do. Right, so let's finish this video off strong, shall we? I do that like that little bit of flair though at the start of the actual fight. Three Pokemon, okay. So I'm gonna have Godopi here. Just power through with Razor Leaf here. And I think that should do it for most of these fights, but uh if something ends up happening that, you know, makes me worry. We have uh we have Sinir's backup, so we'll be fine. Partic I'm particularly worried about his third Pokemon because I think it might have a type, a secondary typing that makes uh, Godopi's Razor Leaf not as effective. But I might be thinking of its evolved form, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's ultimately why I decided to have Zanir as a backup hitter for this fight. 
Better safe than sorry and all that. Okay. That could be worrisome. It wasn't, though. Alright. <laughs> Honestly, was expecting it to do a little bit more damage than that at level 12, but it's whatever. Okay. That's worrying. One more of those, please. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay, because a potion won't heal him at full, and uh, this will finish him off. Goodbye, Onyx. Yep, bye-bye. Okay. Ropey levels up. And he brings out his, uh, big time hitter. Yep, Mold Breaker, that's its ability. Alright, let's see how it takes this. Okay, Headbutt's kind of dangerous because it does big damage and can paralyze. Okay. Uh, let me check. Okay, yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm switching the Sinner center out to at least give him some screen time for this fight. Oh, he knows Pursuit. Um... Oh, okay. Whew. For a second there, I thought I saw my uh, starter's life flash before her eyes. Good lord. Flash before my eyes. Alright, um... Karate Chop, finish him off. That was a close call. <laughs> I honestly should have just potioned and, uh... You know, left it at that, but... Eh, it's alright. Nobody fainted on, on, my, on my side. We got the gym and we got the badge out of the way, so it's all good. Alright, that should do it for now. I'm gonna have to do some training off camera to get everybody caught up with Godopi, even since in here. But, uh, yeah, we got our first badge out of the way, and, uh, we're gonna be heading, uh, back to Jubilife and then north from there to get to the next gen badge. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.